The multi-layered pie chart below shows the sales of LED television sets for a big retail electronics outlet during 2016 and 17, two years. The outer layer shows the monthly sales during the period, with each label showing the month followed by a sales figure. For some months, the sales figures are not given in the chart. That's a usual, typical thing. Fine. So we usually have some question where there are some missing numbers. So it's like a puzzle. So we figure out that puzzle, fill the missing numbers, and then we do the data interpretation part of it. The middle layer shows the aggregate quarter-wise aggregate. So add up three months and then get the quarter-wise aggregate. That's what is going to stay in the quarter. Again, aggregate data is not given for few few numbers. There are few more missing numbers. The innermost layer shows annual sales. So we keep adding up three months to a quarter, four quarters to a year. It is known that the sales figures during the three months of the second quarter of 2016 form an arithmetic progression. And so do the three months monthly sales figures in the fourth quarter of that year. So Q2 2016 and Q4 2016 form an AP. And the AP idea is very useful. Remember, in any arithmetic progression, the middle term is the average of the three terms. Average of n terms. Here there are three terms. Middle term is the average of three terms. Wonderful. This is the diagram. I'm going to jump in and solve, uh, write down whatever we know straight away. And whatever we can figure out straight away. Think about this. Q1, we have January, February, and March. So we can write this total. 80 plus 60, 140 plus 100, 240. Q2, we know April, we don't know May and June. We'll come back to that. Q3, we know July, August, September, 75 plus 55. This 80, 130 plus 120, 250. This we know. Q4 adds up to 360. We don't know November and December. But remember, these three terms are in an AP. These three terms are in an AP. So we'll come back to those two. Q1 2017. This is 2017 data. Q1 2017, 120, 100, 160. 120 plus 160, 280, 380. The total becomes simple enough. Q2 2017, 65 plus 75, 140 plus 60, 200. Here, these two add up to 130. This is 220. This should be 90. And so the missing numbers, we're just filling them up in a hurry, fine, really quickly. And so most of the numbers we have filled in, just go step by step, fill these numbers in. Q4 amounts to 500, 150 plus 170 is 320, this number should be 180. Now let's come to the two quarters where we are given arithmetic progressions. The sum of the three numbers is 150, three terms in AP, we can write them as A minus D, A, A plus D. If we add these three, it will be 3A, 3A is equal to 150, A is 50 or the middle term is 50. This is 40, this is 50, this should be 60. Same idea, 360 is the total, middle term should be 120, 100, 120, 140. So we have monthly numbers for the first three months, next three months, next three months, next three months. Monthly for these three, these three, these three, and these three. So all monthly numbers are available. So all quarterly numbers are available. All annual numbers are available if we want it. I'm not even going to fill this in and add this and find out. We need it, we'll find it. Okay. So methodically, we fill the more obvious numbers. We put them in. Then we attack the AP part. And then we move on to the questions. Now we have the entire grid on our hand. So let's jump to each question. What is the percentage increase in sales in December 2017 as compared to the sales in December 2016? December 2017 is 180. December 2016 is 140. And so we have, want to find the increase from 140 to 180 in percentage terms. So an increase of 40 on a base of 140. 4 by 14 or 2 by 7. 2 by 7 in percentage terms. 1 by 7 is 14.28%, 2 by 7 is 28.57%. We look for that number, the answer choice is it goes. Eight, 
In which quarter of 2017 was the percentage increase in sales from the same quarter of 2016 the highest? So 2017 to 16, Q1 to Q1 was 140 by 240. This is in Q1. Also 240 to 380, an increase of 140 on a base of 240. Q2 to Q2, 150 to 200, increase of 50 on a base of 150. Q3 to Q3, Q3 is 220 in 2017. It was 250 in 2016. So it's a negative. We're thinking about percentage increase, not percentage change. It's a negative number. We don't even have to worry about it. Q4 to Q4, this is 360. to 500 140 by 500 sorry 140 by 360 change by initial from 360 to 150 that's from 360 to 500 a change of 140 divided by 360 we want to find the highest of these three 50 by 150 is one third this is definitely more than one third you can forget about this we're comparing 140 by 240 and 140 by 360 we do not even have to find these fractions and the numerators are same this denominator is lower this is the higher fraction or the the quarter which saw the highest percentage increase this is q1 and 240 to 380 is the sharpest percentage increase that happened in quarter 1 this choice during which quarter was the percentage decrease in sales from the previous quarter sales the highest percentage decrease q4 of 2017 q4 of 2017 this actually an increase from q3 to q4 is an increase so we don't have to worry about it talk about the percentage decrease the highest is an increase So we don't have to worry about it. Q1 of 2017. This is Q1. From 360 to 380. 360 to 380 is once again an increase. So again, this one we don't need to worry about. It seems to be a very simple question. Q2 of 2017. Q2 of 2017. It is down by 180 on 380. This is 180 by 380. 380 or 18 by 38 9 by 90 q2 of 2016 q2 of 2016 here from 240 to 150 decrease of 90 on a basis of 240 9 by 24 or 3 by 8 we're comparing 9 by 19 and 3 by 8 9 by 19 is just less than half 9.5 by 19 is half 3 by 8 is also less than half 4 by 8 is half just think about this 9.5 by 19 to 9 by 19 it's a very small drop 4 by 8 to 3 by 8 is a large drop so this number is closer to half is larger than this the textbook way of comparing this 9 by 19 3 by 8 the lcm would be 19 into 8 this is 9 into 8 This is 3 into 19. Or we are comparing 72 and 57. 72 is greater than 57. This is greater than this. That's a textbook way of comparing. But you can anchor both of these around half. Both are less than half. This is only slightly less than half. Very close to half. This is, this is more less than half. So this is the right answer. During which month was the percentage increase in sales from the previous month's sales the highest? Percentage increase from the previous month's sales the highest. March of 2016, 2016 March from 60 to 100 increase of 40 by 60. Difference by initial into 100 that's percentage increase. October 2016 October 2016 is just 100 from 55 to 100 so this 
will be 45 by 55 into 100 we're just comparing so i'm forgetting about the into 100 part i'm going to think of them as fractions october of 2017 so we're looking at 2017 october 70 to 150 an increase of 80 on a basis of 70. Straight away, I know that this number is greater than 1. That's jumping out at me. From September to October, the sales have more than doubled. Right? So I can forget about these two. I don't have to compute that. So far, 80 by 70 is the highest. It's higher than 1. It's more than 100%. Sales have more than doubled. Fine. March 2017. March 2017, March of 2017 is this number, it is 100 to 160, it's an increase of 60 by 160, 60 by 100, not this number, this number is written down incorrectly, 60 by 100, from 100 to 160. It's an increase of 60 on a base of 100. This is also less than 1. The only number that's greater than 1 is October 2017. That's the right answer. March of 2017 is also an increase. It's an increase of 60 on a base of 100. 60 by 100, which is less than 1. In this case, it has more than doubled. In all of these cases, it has not doubled. So October of 2017 has seen the sharpest percentage increase among these four months. We don't have to check the others because it is more than 100%. So choice three.